Today on the caucus, the president releases his long-form birth certificate in response to conspiracy theories. John Harwood and Michael Shear discuss what this extraordinary move means. As many of you have been briefed, uh, we provided additional information today about uh, the site of my birth. Michael, I've been covering politics a long time. Never thought I'd see a president of the United States come into the briefing room and release his birth certificate. How do we get to that? A remarkable moment. I mean, this has been going on for a couple of years. Uh, the White House had hoped and thought they could sort of dismiss it as a completely fringe issue. Um, and instead, clearly, they, you know, came to realize that it had become a bigger issue that they had to confront more directly. And do you have a sense of why now? Uh, obviously, Donald Trump has been uh, beating this drum for the last few weeks. But why right at this moment in the springtime of 2011? So the White House clearly believed for, for the first couple of years that it wasn't, that it hadn't permeated the kind of conscious, the larger consciousness. But you've seen polls recently that show large numbers of people, um, you know, had doubts, had questions. So now over and done for rational people? Well, you know, the, the, isn't that the way it always is with conspiracy theories, right? They're not, the, the, the folks that are really behind them don't think logically. I think the White House does expect uh, that both in the political sphere for sort of mainstream Republicans and mainstream uh, politicians that it should be over. Even President Obama conceded in his remarks at the White House today that, you know, there will be a small segment of the population uh, that will never be satisfied. But I'm speaking to the vast majority of the American people. Uh, as well as to the press. We do not have time for this kind of silliness. Now, I can't resist asking, what does it say about those of us in the news media that we put on a split screen of President Obama and Donald Trump? If you put a text... Here's President Obama in the briefing room about to address the birth certificate issue. Let's listen in. I think we're not, you know, we as an institution or as, as various institutions are not blameless here. here. Here we are, you and I are talking about this on a day when news also broke that the president is probably going to reshape his entire national security apparatus with uh, changes to defense secretary and CIA chief and all of that. Everybody knows that these questions are catnip for the, for the media. It's our version of entertainment tonight. It, it is, and uh, you know, I think the president is hoping that by putting this out there, we will go on to other things. Thank you.